Welcome, everybody. Did you feel the support in the room? That was beautiful. Welcome to the SoCal Helpful Honda Sound Space. My name is Nicole Alvarez. Thank you for coming. Really quickly, we have a limited edition iration hoodie and t-shirt at the K-Rock shop. Without further ado, please welcome Micah from iration. even know I wanted to throw up. That's amazing. Hello. This is a slick move. Um, I Gangster. Would be, it, it was all me. It was all my idea. Wow. Um, I purchased the flowers. I see your game. Here. I'm going to match it. First of all, so you know that we're playing day tripping on K-Rock, right? There you go. There, there, there's our people. The thing is, a lot of people think this is the first time that Iration got played on K-Rock, when indeed this is not your first rodeo. Correct? This is our second rodeo, okay. yes. So there is a video on YouTube. We used to do this thing called the K-Rock Music Meetings, where they would put us in a room and force us to listen to music, those heathens. Um, but there is one video, and it's my music director, Miles, who's in here, my boss, K-Dub, and it's Sebu from Capital Cities and the legendary Matt Pinfield. And they go around the room, and they, pre they play Iration's Press Play, then at the end of the video, they call your manager to tell you guys that Iration is going into rotation at K-Rock. The first time you heard that, how did it feel? Surreal. I mean, obviously, growing up in a place like Hawaii, with which the radio that we get over there is not K-Rock, I'll just say that. <laughs> it's like Wilson Phillips and... Uh, <laughs> what is wrong with that? I mean, I love it, but it's like, I grew up on I gotta it. check you know, it. It's not K-Rock, I'll just say that. <laughs> So, you know, our manager's from L.A., and so I think it was a big moment for him as well. It was, uh, it's an iconic station. It's an iconic, you know, piece of Americana, really, I would say, is K-Rock is responsible for breaking so many bands and so many, you know, being the tastemaker of music around the country and rock music specifically around the country. Uh, just to be included in that was surreal. Yeah. Mind-blowing. 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 I don't think we'd be sitting here without the humble beginnings, so I want to talk about your humble beginnings. First of all, if I'm not mistaken, you all met at a prep school in Hawaii. And then, from there, how did you end up bewitching I Love Istans? Yeah, so we went to high school together. We, we grew up together. Um, obviously, it was a prep school, yeah. It was uh, our, our parents, you know, we're not, I would not say any of us are very rich, but our parents definitely were like, we're going to make sure you guys get good education. That's the number one but thing. But wait, we want what was you. your plan in prep school? Was it like law school? Uh, was it insurance? Well, we went to, you know, the guys went to Santa, go to City College in Santa Barbara, so the plan was to party as hard as you can. I think that was done like. Done and done. <laughs> and uh, surf, obviously. But, you know, we ended up in Santa Barbara together, and, and we, we actually didn't have the band in high school. We didn't even, we were friends, but we never even thought about playing music together. And then when we got to Santa Barbara in Isla Vista, it was kind of like, hey, what can we do to kill some time? Let's start a band. And it just kind of like organically came together. True, actual garage band where somebody opened up their garage and said, I have a few feet of space. Let's start jamming in here. And see what we happens. just went from there, yeah. And then you started playing bars in college towns, and there were people that were drunk off their faces, but somehow or another, you captivated the audience. So what was the next step from there? When did this become a serious thing? I think it, it was right around like 2008, 2009. We got a, our first national tour, uh, Pepper, the band Pepper, who uh, was from the Big Island as well, the same island we were from. I think they did us a did us a solid and said like let's take the young guns out on tour with us. Uh, <laughs> the young guns. And they had a big song at the time, "Give It Up," that was doing really well. And so we went out and supported them as the first of three bands and kind of cut our teeth on the road, learn how to tour, learn how to get off stage in two minutes flat, or else you get yelled at by their their roadies, and just kind of learn how to negotiate being on tour. And I think you know that's been our job since then has been being on the road and touring, and, and we kind of just the good kept, life. kept going from there. Yeah. The good life. Yeah, the good life of uh, McDonald's dollar menu and Subway. Foot, you know, you, we, we, we knock that around, but sometimes in today's complicated world, the simple things really are the good life, if you think about it. 
Yeah, I mean, I can't, if I smell a Subway sandwich, <laughs> oh, the bread, like, I've it, like, made it. it's, a, it's a, a violent reaction that I, I still have to <laughs> I this bet. day. I hope they're not a sponsor or something like that. But. In 2007, you released your first album, No Time to Rest, and since then, you've experienced pretty steady success. Like, you've always accomplished something with everything that you've dropped. How do you stay, well, first of all, this is a two-parter. What do you consider success? But secondly, how do you stay super humble and grounded as gentlemen? Well, thank you. You're welcome. Um, See, I'm, I'm repaying <laughs> you. The, it's the game for the flowers. I think, I think success for us has always just been, you know, being able to do it full time as a job. I think that was always the first goal was can we live and pay our rent? And, you know, we all lived together in a house for a long time. And that was interesting, to say the least. Uh, <laughs> bunking up, sharing rooms. Um, that would felt successful at the time, you know, and then it was like, oh, if we can get on a tour bus, that would be success for us. Done. Or we could sell out the Roxy Theater. Done. Or And then it just, you know, it just kept kind of progressing. The goals got a little bit bigger and bigger. But you stayed grounded. Well, I think part of that is, you know. Golf. We, golf, He yes. plays golf, ladies and gentlemen. We're from Hawaii. We'll Hawaii is that. a place where <laughs> you can't, if you get a little too big for your britches, you will get probably brought down to, to earth. And nobody can really operate no matter who you are. You go to, you know, you go out there and you see, you know, the guys from Metallica or, you know, Jack Johnson who are gigantic stars and they're just everyday guys when you're, when you're in Hawaii and I so think that's part of it. So as punishment, they make you play golf? <laughs> you really want to bring this back to golf, huh? <laughs> I do. Because I don't I mean, understand. listen, I, we play a lot of golf. I think that it's, it's golf is one of those, those games that can, uh can really check your, make you humble, you know, because no matter who you are, you can get em embarrass yourself and, and uh, you're never, you're always, there's always a shank or a bad shot that's going to bring you back to earth no matter who you are. It's the beauty of your band and bands like you, you're very down to earth and that keeps everybody else feeling unintimidated. It's very disarming, your music. Um, you're purveyors of the good life, but you're also, I guess the best word is disarming because at an iration show, everybody's just free to chill. You know, it's, I was thinking in your, I don't want to say genre, but it's what, alternative reggae roots? Yep. There's no real unhinged rock star behavior. Like, there's no reggae band dressed in ill-fitting leather with eyeliner and a severe drug problem. That's so interesting to me. Uh, <laughs> that I, I, I know. I push back on the severe drug problems, but <laughs> the other stuff, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what you guys do in the trailer, but... Um, okay, so this brings us to your eighth album that's about to drop in October called Day Trippin'. There are three singles out already, what, one of which is in rotation at K-Rock. Give us a little backstory on all three. Yeah, so this, we, this, this cycle, uh, writing cycle, started last year, um, early 2022, and even kind of before that, to be honest. And... We really wanted to try something different. We kind of did three albums, starting with Hot Up, the self-titled album, and then Kosin, that were very produced, um, bigger sounding records. And we kind of were able to experiment and really push our songwriting, like what we wanted to what we wanted our sound to be and what we wanted to sound like. We pushed it out to a lot of different, you know, things. And so when we came back to this one, we said, you know what, we need to go back to what makes iration like a band which is the synergy when we play together live and when we're together when we're playing together there's an energy that is bigger than the sum of the parts uh, none of us are you know crazy virtuoso musicians or virtuoso singers or anything like that but when we put us together there's a different kind of energy there and i think that's what we really wanted to capture with this record so that was the goal, and and we did. We started with a song called "New Style." That was kind of just listen. It's a five and a half minute long, like wandering reggae dub kind of song, and we're like, you know, should we cut it down to three and a half minutes? Yeah. And we're like, nah, just leave it. Let it be what it is, and let you know the people that will enjoy it will enjoy it, and and you know maybe it 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 won't be a radio song per se, or a, you know a big single type thing, but it will be for our core base and the fans that really have supported us and stuck with us since day one. And then we did a song called IRL, which is kind of another song in that in that vein of traditional, you know, iration in the vein of summer nights or falling or songs in that nature, which is just about enjoying life and 
you know, positive vibes and, you know, the feel-good type of song. And then um, our manager said, listen, because we were trying to work with new producers and new songwriters and things like that and people to just to get freshen it up. And he said, there's uh, this woman, Susie Shin, who would you guys be interested in working with her? And I kind of like looked up her bio and stuff and to see, you know, and I'm a huge Weezer fan since uh, since high school and, you know, just always been a Weezer fan. So saw that she was producing Weezer records and, uh, she's a badass. and she's a badass. She's and a badass. so we were like, yeah, we want to work with Susie. So uh, we got in the, the room with her and we, we had, a, we had the beginning of the song Day Trippin', which was the, the chorus of the song. And she kind of guided us to the finish and produced it. And uh, we ended up with a song that we all were very happy about and felt that it was a perfect blend of kind of what we've done in the past, which is alternative rock, reggae, pop, a lot of those different things that kind of make us unique. So, so it's basically, it's back to your roots, but more experienced roots. Or something. Yes, like 2.0. I would yeah, I always try to say it's like going back to time bomb automatic 2.0 thing, you know. What you were saying about some of you not being virtuosos, I beg to differ. You're very good at what you do, but also not everybody knows what to do with energy, and all of you know how to sync it up and make it a language, and then you manipulate the vibe in the room, and that is a gift that you cannot deny. So if ener you're, you're energy virtuosos, how's that? Well, thank you. That's, you're welcome. That's, that See, sounds, Game Recognizes Game. That sounds game. like an album title. Yeah, no, Game Recognizes Game. You brought me flowers, and I'm just, like, you know, putting flowers all over your ego. You deserve, you deserve yeah. your flowers. Yeah, 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 I know what I'm doing. Um, lastly, um, are you the one that's going to have a new baby? Or is it the other one? I am having a baby, It's yes. you. Congratulations. September, Second. right? September. Tomorrow they go on the second leg of their tour, and I think it goes a little something like Chula, 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 Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, Santa Barbara, Ventura, Ventura, Chula, New Mexico, something yeah, like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot of double dates, a lot of yeah. multiple nights. And, uh, you and you get to go on the road with a bunch of guys that came up in the scene with you, like Revolution, The Expendables, um, and coming up together. Just tell me what it's like to tour with your brothers, essentially like the biggest family ever. It is. It's like summer camp out there. It's we all, you know, we eat together in the catering, and we all are doing random, you know, board games and playing. Uh, How wholesome! <laughs> not board games. What I'm what I'm talking about is like beer dice or got like it, it. <laughs> beer pong. Just or, no ill-fitting you know, leather, leather and severe. Yeah, drug everything use. involves yeah, no. uh, some 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 booze or some form of <laughs> drinking, but. We're all out there just having a great time, and it's like you go on pa tour with bands that uh, you maybe you don't know each other, and you don't you see each other around at the catering or whatever. You say hi, and then that's kind of it. But with this tour, it's every day we're it's we're spending every second together. We're hanging out. We're on each other's buses. It's it's it is very much like a, a family vibe and a, a summer camp vibe. So it's great. Whatever you're doing, you're doing it right because you do have a genuinely happy look on your face. And it's hard not to recognize that. Thank you for taking time out for us. Day Tripping comes out in October. Thank you guys for Micah, coming out. Micah, thank Appreciate you so much. Guys for being here, we appreciate you. We were a little worried that nobody was gonna show up. We're like Thursday at like two in the morning. Thank you guys. Play a few songs for you. Hot enough, nobody's gonna stop it. I'm up. Maybe I'm high 
recognize this one. Wave your hands with me like this.
fires but you, I want to hear you sing She's up Trying to take you out The ticking of her heart Is the only sound She's up About to dead in hate Trying to cut her wires But you're too late She's on Time for
right, everybody doing, doing all right so far? Yeah. Okay. song that we talked about in the in the meeting with Matt Pinfield called Press Play. Round and round we goes 
still searching for a better way Time and place are all but lost Forgotten on the way Running, running, running down Trying to escape the maze Life is simplified when Second rodeo. It's going a little 
little trip. Thank you. They told us six songs, but we want to play one more. If that's all right with you guys. My shirt has one more shirt in. <laughs> one more song. All right, this one's a cover song. We're gonna play it for you guys. Hopefully, you. I think you know this one. Hit them with it, MB. Around, but she grew up tall and she grew up right with 
First of all, thank you guys for coming. Don't forget, Iration K Rock Collab, krockshop.com. But most importantly, thank you for not having jobs and being here today with us. And to this beautiful, wonderful band, it's I hope our, our I hope we're friends forever. Thank you guys. Thank you, SoCal Honda. Thank everybody. I'm Nicole Alvarez, K Rock Iration. Good job, guys.